In the heart of El Salvador, a bold and unprecedented move is taking place in the name of battling crime. Thousands of tattooed inmates, suspected gang members, are being transferred to a colossal new prison facility. This is President Nayib Bukele's audacious step in his self-declared war on crime. In response to a surge in murders and violent crimes, El Salvador has been gripped by a state of emergency. Tens of thousands of suspected gangsters have been apprehended, and now, a monumental prison has been built to house them. The first wave of 2,000 suspected gang members has been moved to what is being hailed as the largest jail in the Americas, the Center for the Confinement of Terrorism. These inmates, tattooed and barefoot, are being led to their new home in shackles, under the watchful eyes of prison agents. The prisoners, seated on the floor with shaven heads and their hands behind them, await processing. They are stacked closely together, a visible representation of the challenge El Salvador faces in tackling its crime problem. President Bekele announced on social media that the first 2,000 inmates were transferred, at dawn, in a single operation. He stated that this facility will be their new residence, where they will spend decades, unable to inflict further harm on the population. This mega-prison, located in Tecaluca, southeast of the capital, comprises eight sprawling buildings. Each building houses 32 cells, each roughly 100 square meters in size, designed to accommodate more than 100 inches prisoners, according to the government. The conditions inside the cells are stark. With only two sinks and two toilets, the inmates will have limited access to basic amenities. President Bekele's war on gangs has been met with both support and skepticism. The emergency measures he imposed, though controversial for limiting certain constitutional rights, have led to the arrest of over 64,000 suspects. However, Critics argue that the crackdown has resulted in innocent individuals being caught up in the policy. Reports of cruel and degrading treatment raise concerns about human rights violations, even as Bekele's aggressive stance against gangs maintains its popularity among Salvadorans. As El Salvador takes an unprecedented leap in its fight against crime, the massive prison stands as a symbol of the nation's determination to confront its gang problem head-on. The success of this audacious endeavor remains to be seen, as the world watches to witness the outcome of President Bekele's bold declaration of war. In a nation torn between hopes for safety and concerns for human rights, El Salvador's journey towards a safer future is marked by the towering walls of its new mega-prison. But as the new mega-prison stands as a symbol of resolve, it also poses daunting challenges. The battle against entrenched criminal networks is far from over. El Salvador's notorious gangs, like MS-13 and Barrio 18, have long held a grip on the nation's communities. Responsible for a range of crimes including homicides, extortion, and drug trafficking, these gangs have woven themselves into the fabric of society. President Bekele's objective to make these gangs disappear altogether is a Herculean task. It's not only about confining gang members but addressing the root causes that fuel gang activity, poverty, lack of education, and limited economic opportunities. Amid the bold headlines and political aspirations, it's easy to overlook the human stories entwined in this battle. Families torn apart, communities struggling to heal, and individuals who may have fallen into the wrong path but still deserve a chance at redemption. Inside the prison walls, the situation is complex. Inmates with diverse backgrounds and affiliations are now confined together, raising concerns about inter-gang conflicts and potential for radicalization. El Salvador remains divided on the way forward.
While some believe in the necessity of stringent measures to combat crime, others emphasize the importance of comprehensive social programs and rehabilitation to break the cycle of violence. Grassroots efforts are underway. Community centers, educational initiatives, and counseling programs aimed at providing alternatives to vulnerable youth, steering them away from the clutches of gangs. The road ahead is uncertain. Will this mega prison become a turning point in El Salvador's fight against crime, or will it be a symbol of the challenges that lie ahead? Only time will reveal the true impact of this ambitious endeavor. What's certain, however, is that the story of El Salvador's mega prison is not just about walls and barbed wire. It's a narrative of a nation striving to find its way to safety, justice, and a brighter future for all its citizens. As the night falls over the towering prison, the journey continues. In this struggle against crime and for the soul of a nation, El Salvador walks a tightrope between the pursuit of security and the protection of human rights.